All right, hello D2, we're back to part two. Frustration part two. Are there any activities that you do on a regular basis that easily and frequently frustrate you? Uh, I play the bass and, and I get upset. Yep. What, what tends to frustrate you or get you upset about the bass? Sometimes it's like out of tune and I need like rosin for my bow and so it doesn't sound as good as it. Does it sound squeaky if you don't have enough rosin? What yeah, it stuff and it does, sometimes it doesn't make noise. Oh, it doesn't make noise at all? Yeah, sometimes. Huh, what is rosin? Um, I don't even know. Is um, it like wax? Stuff, so, yeah, stuff you put on your bow, I don't really know either, but I know you need it to huh. make it sound good. Okay, so in that situation, if you're getting frustrated and you were to stop and say, what is the problem? Would it be one, it's out of tune? What would the solution to that be? Um, make sure you fix it. Get somebody to tune it. I know you said Kyle, your mom's friend, came over and tuned it, helped with that some. So get rosin for your bow, it sounds like. Who, where do you get that? Does that school? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I would bet, okay, D2 out there in D2 land, We'll take suggestions. I'm guessing if you went to a music store, probably, probably would have the rosin for your bow. Um, and then I think ultimately, if you had your own tuner and you learned how to tune it yourself, so you have rosin and you learn how to tune it, you can make that one go away. Yes. Now, what about we were kind of talking before? You know, I play a guitar just a little bit, and it's different than the bass because we have frets and y'all don't. Um, but fingering, I understand. And I know I get frustrated when I'm trying to learn a song, either by note or when I'm trying to remember chords or trying to do a bar chord and I can't get my finger to do it right, that I can get frustrated. And there are times that I just want to kind of put it down, throw it down, and walk away. You ever feel that way? Yeah. Okay. And in those moments, that's when I think that you really have to get to the thing of stopping, taking a breath, because it's like, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to hurt the bass. It's an expensive instrument. It's like five thousand dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so taking a breath, stopping, figuring out what's the problem. It's like I'm not getting this, and I'm getting frustrated. So what do I need to do? Take a break. Or what do I need to do? Do some different. Do some different. Come back. Talk to somebody about. You know, I'm doing this, but it doesn't feel right. Is this the right thing to do? What do I do? That might be talking to your teacher or something like that. Um, and then examining, am I getting upset at myself because I'm not getting this because I expect myself to be perfect? Because I know you can be really hard on yourself and realizing that if it was easy, everyone would do it. I think playing the bass is probably moderately hard, if not hard. They said it was like the hardest instrument to learn. There you go. So you're learning to play the hardest instrument, which means that it is going to be difficult at times. And you just got to be patient with yourself. You will get it. I know you. You don't give up. And you have the capacity to learn it. It just takes repetitions. Um, there's a book. It's called The Tipping Point. Um, and in that book, they talk about it to people who are professional athletes or professional at something. Sometimes it takes people 10,000 trials to get good an expert at something. Think about a baseball player. How many times they have to do batting practice to learn to hit the ball? I mean, a ton. Um, and just that's just like the base for you. So being reasonable with yourself and what you're telling yourself. Splash some water on your face, take a break, play a video game, and then go back and play the base, maybe. Something like that. So I think the idea, take home message. Stop take a break, evaluate what the problem is. Can I fix the problem? Walk away before I get too overwhelmed. Do something to change what's going on either in the environment or in myself. And then decide, do I keep doing this? Do I do something different? Do I wait until tomorrow? Or what's my plan? And then working on it. All right, so your homework then is to try this and see what happens. Sound good? All right, cool. 448. Look at that. We made it within five minutes. All right. We got to make it within five minutes. Uh, peace out. Peace out. Peace out, D2. Wait for 459. Are we there? Oh, 59.